Hi everyone, I'm Mark Anthony, and I run a website called thevegastourist.com. You're probably watching this video on that channel right now. On that channel, on that website, about 40 to 45% of the visitors are from outside the United States. Now, a lot of you don't know this, or some of you do, I am also a certified international tour director. I have led tours from Copper Canyon, Mexico, all the way up to the Canadian Rockies. In that role as a tour director, about 75% to 80% of my guests are from outside the US, all right? Now, in that role, I get to talk with tourists from all over the world, obviously, that are relaxed. They are on vacation, they are having fun, their guard is down and they want to talk. And they want to talk about, this year, politics, all right? In, in these conversations, I have never sensed uh, a, a fear in the, the international tourist. What I have sensed is a sense of confusion, but I'll get to that here in a couple seconds, all right? Since the election here in America, the media, their little darling, did not win. So they are now on a war path, hoping to destroy the person who did win. And part of that war path is to put fear into the hearts and minds of the international tourists coming to America, telling you that under their chosen candidate, you would have been much safer in America. And now that the other candidate had won, America has suddenly become a very, very dangerous place for you to go to. So don't come to America. Unfortunately, a lot of people believe that. So I'm here to give you the three undeniable facts on American international tourism under a Trump presidency. Undeniable fact number one, the American mainstream media lies. I know, I know, it's a big shock, it's a big shock, oh my God. It's, it's the media, they're supposed to give us the news, they're supposed to give us an unbiased opinion or an unbiased view of what's going on in America. Nah, <laughs> no, no. If there's one thing we learned in the 2016 presidential election, the American mainstream media lies, manipulates, takes facts, wraps them around their agenda, and then, and then creates stories out of them. Facts have nothing to do with American mainstream media, all right? Their one and only goal, their one and only agenda over the last 18 months was to make sure Hillary Clinton became president. They failed miserably at that one job. Totally. And now they're taking it out on you, the American international tourists. Now, before all you anti-Trumpsters start hitting me up with these, you know, your, your, your feelings got hurt, your panties are in a bind, all of this other nonsense, I like to work with facts. So let's work at the facts. Donald Trump was licensed in the state of Nevada to buy 5% of the former Riviera Casino stock. To do that, he had to get a gaming license. He had to get the state's permission to buy that. To do that, he had to go through a background check that just is, is amazing. It's long, it's tedious, it's expensive, and they look at your life all the way back to your third grade elementary teacher, if not back to the person who potty trained you. Through all of that, Donald Trump was approved for a gaming license to buy 5% of the Riviera stock. Now, you take somebody with the exact documented background of Hillary Clinton and have that person try to get a gaming license. At best, that person would be, be laughed out of the meeting. At worst, They'd be arrested and put into the little black book of people who are not allowed to be anywhere near a casino. How would a person that, that has that background, that cannot pass a, a, a security background check, how can having that person in the White House make America safe? According to the mainstream media, that's the person they want to give the nuclear keys to, for our military, to a person who cannot pass a background check in the state of Nevada or any other state, okay? How does that make you, the international tourist, 
safer compared to someone who can pass a background check where they say, hey, this person is not dangerous. It doesn't. You are safer under the incoming president than you would have been had the other person won. Undeniable fact number two. Most international media outlets are either owned by or get their American news from the American mainstream media. Now, the international mainstream media is just there to sell advertising, create viewership, and sell advertising. So whatever comes across their little teletype from, from the mainstream American media, hey, it's got to be true, so let's run with it. Now, see rule number one. Mm -hmm. You're being told something that is meant to, to sell advertising. That's it. If it scares you, cool, we're going to have more, more, more viewers. Is it true? Don't care. It came from America, so it's got to be true. How does that make you, as, a, as, an America, as an international tourist coming to America, it doesn't make you. Finally, undeniable fact number three on why you as an American international tourist is safer with the incoming president had you been with the alternative. There is not a civilized nation on this planet that, had an, that could have or would have an open door immigration policy that is being pushed by Hillary Clinton, the Democrats, and the mainstream media, and have that country survive. You cannot have people coming into your nation unchecked from nations who want to do your nation harm and survive to tell about it. The Trump immigration plan is the same thing that is in Mexico and similar to the one that's in Canada. Try walking into Canada without any papers, no job, and no background. See how far you get. Try walking into Mexico without any papers, without any job, and without any verifiable income. See how many years in jail you get for that. Now, the, the American mainstream media says, that's a cool, cool immigration plan. Well, guess what? Donald Trump and the Republican Party wants the same thing here. Why is it wrong for us to know why, you, first of all, who's coming in, why you're coming in, and especially if you're coming from a nation that hates America and exports terrorism? Why is it racist or bigoted to ask these people, are you here for friendly terms or are you here to do us harm? Are you here legally? If not, you broke the law. Donald Trump is trying to tell everyone we all live under the same rules. You're not above any law. Go back to the end of the line and follow everyone else that's coming in here legally. Why should you get preferential treatment, all right? Especially if you're young males, 18 to 25, able-bodied, coming from a nation that has, that, that has been documented to want to do your nation harm. And these people are coming in with no background they're able-bodied, they're men, and they're coming in as refugees. Where's, where's the starving women and the abused children? Why are these able-bodied men, young men, coming in here alone from a nation that has said, we want to wipe out America? And where Hillary and the Democrats and the mainstream media said, these are the people we should, come, should allow in, don't ask them any questions, give them housing, give them medical care, give them a uh, welfare, basically. And don't ask where they came from, don't ask what their intentions are, don't ask them anything, just open the door and let them in. Where, how does that make you, the international tourist, safer? Why is it wrong for us to do that? Why is it okay when a Democrat president did this, Jimmy Carter, to the exact same people 
And again, the, the American mainstream media said, hey, cool policy, love it. God, this is gonna make America so much safer. Republican president does the exact same thing. And the same mainstream media says, this is racist, this is bigger than you can't ask these people anything. They, you, know, we, you know, we need to bring them in. No, we don't. Especially if you cannot tell us why you're coming here, what your background is, and whether or not you violated any, any laws from where you're coming from. How does having people here who have broken the law make you safer? It doesn't. You are safe, if not safer, with the incoming president as an international tourist than you would have been with the alternative who wanted to open up the borders to anyone that had a pulse and not ask any questions. That doesn't make you safer. Having a screening process makes you safer. That's why you have a passport. That's why you go through the documentation that you do. This is why you go through the checkpoints that you do to get onto the aircraft to come to America. Same thing with anyone else. We wanna know who's here, you wanna know who's here. So just trust me on this one. I'm a, you know, I'm a tour professional, I'm in the tourism industry. This fear mongering by the American mainstream media because their candidate lost doesn't do us good. It, it harms us. And a lot of you think that the American mainstream media should be doing what they're supposed to be doing, helping America. They're not. They're, they're upset because they had one job and one job only in the American presidential election and they failed at it and they got caught at it. All right. So please do your research and you will see American international tourists don't have anything to worry about with Donald Trump as our president. It's fear mongering at the lowest level. Now, if you want to add, add your thoughts to it, ask any questions, want to add commentary, you can do that below. If it's friendly, if it's derogatory or anything else, it's going to be deleted, all right? And I'm going to come up with a couple more videos discussing some of the other points of the immigration plan and why, as, as, an, as an American international tourist, you're safer, okay? I am going to, hopefully with your help, dispel all of this fear mongering that's going on in the mainstream media, all right? I'm Mark Anthony. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please put them down below. If you have any, any comments, questions, or, or anything else like that, write down there, all right? Thank you very much and have yourself a wonderful day.